just before the video starts, I would like to shout out Ivan George, sir, um, from my alliance. He's very nice. Um, Ho Wang Min Tian, Hai Tao, Zazimo, CTP Gaming, Todo and Todoroki, to ya. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to shout them out for subscribing to my channel and um commenting it down below if you want a shout out like them subscribe to me and comment that you have done so down below and i'll give you a shout out in my next video also join my discord um the link is in the description and i will pin a comment leaving the link as well anyway on to the actual video now hello and welcome this is waffles 1738 here back with another video and basically this video is the war between kv hashtag uh, just their whole family, really. Uh, but this is focusing on KV hashtag A. Uh, but they have reinforcements from other alliances, such as um, J. Here you can see on the screen he was from KV hashtag P. Uh, he was the he's the second biggest player in our kingdom. He's very strong, so um, that is good support coming from outside KV hashtag A. So in my last video, it was a video of. KV hashtag C, which was the alliance we had, which was separated quite a bit from the rest of the KV hashtag family. So, um, yeah, it's pretty good that um, we managed to take them down, uh, but this is a different alliance here. So, as you can see on the screen now, it is um, ACFX um, attacking KV hashtag A from the north. Uh, after they built their CF, they um, started like attacking. Uh, they would have started attacking their um, builds, the alliance builds, but um, their CF hasn't built yet, so they're just doing some open field fighting here, and you can see it right here now. So you can see that there's some KV hashtag A down here, uh, more into their territory. So they're outnumbering the um, ACFX players uh, who decide to back off. And uh, yeah, one of Sir Vanders is sent home by a very strong Min Minamoto and uh, power up. And uh, there's also a distance fight up in the top, which I wasn't recording at this time. Um, but you can see that, yeah. So both sides did well in that fight. So this is um KV hashtag um A um, attacking um, some of um foul players when they were trying to keep KV hashtag A's CF burning. Um so they attacked it and now it is burning as you can see and um there were some people trying to defend it which was unsuccessful until the main whales uh came on for KV hashtag A. So you can see here, this is one of the many rallies we had on Beagle City. Um, so this is the first rally um, you can see here. Uh, well, one of the rallies. Um, one Punch Man, um, he um, leads the rally and then there's some soloers with it. So you can see that here um, it is uh, well, surprise, you can see him soloing. Oh, Lord Pandolf, sorry. Um, and loads of people just solo on top of the rally, and people forget to stop soloing when the rally's gone, and they lose quite a few troops, but um, they do start to uh, stop attacking the city after they realise that they are taking unnecessary losses. So they surround the city, stopping reinforcements getting into it. Although, if you reinforce the city, you are just going to get quite a lot of dead. So you can see Sir Sakata um, serving the city, but it does stop to uh, stop serving it. So this is a rally coming in from Sir Silver Owl now. Since he was closer to Be Beagle City, uh, it is easier for him to rally and quicker for him to rally it. Oh, is, and he also has um, good commanders. Uh, like one punch man so it doesn't it just speeds up the process so beagle doesn't wake up in time so you can see that um, the Ajuli defending is pretty good but not good enough for 
uh, the amount of troops in the rally with the Minamoto. The thing is, with Beagle City, a lot of it is troop power, uh, a lot of it is um, build power, not much of it is troop power, so uh, all of it fits into his hospital, so he can get it all back, just with the cost of resources and speed ups, but whereas with our team, we had um, deaths, but um, it's distributed across a large amount of people, so it's not as bad, and we also did get a lot of resources, so yeah that was about 550 million resources stolen out of his city so uh, that must have been annoying to have that stolen so i was unable to record at this um moment so uh, my friend uh, lord loki recorded it for me uh, so you can see here that they're all swarming the city um, because there's not that many troops in it left anymore uh, so they can easily swarm it instead of rallying it uh, so that's what they do, they swarm it, uh, taking out the very last uh, amounts of people and watchtower in it and still the resources then walk home when, they're, um, when they are full and this goes on for a long time people just walking up there stealing resources, it does go on for quite a while and you can just see it here and um, everyone's just going back and forth trying to get resources out of his city before he wakes up uh, which wasn't long after this actually because in Korea um, it was morning at this time so everyone was just getting what they could before um, time ran out so you can see here this is um, some resistance from uh, some uh, from someone who chose cavalry, uh, led by Cao Cao, someone manages to reinforce Beagle City. Um, this is when there is a rally uh, coming. I'm pretty sure this is when the first rally was coming. I wasn't able to record it, but um, uh, again, Lord Loki did, because I wasn't on at the time and I didn't realise this was happening. But then I got on as soon as possible and managed to start recording it again. So. You can see here that uh, the rally is marching in from, uh, led by, I'm pretty sure it's One Punch Man with his Minamoto. Uh, someone jumps out the city and then jumps right back in, um, realising that uh, they should protect the city. Although it's probably a better choice to jump out the city and attack, uh, because that way you only take severely wounded, uh, but if you're in the city you are taking deads which you can't get those troops back so i feel like it's smarter to jump out so you can see there that in the rally there was a lot of um a lot of people so uh he had a 1.1 million rally capacity and it was completely full so that was good on our side so you can see there's some people trying to pick off people which they're doing a good job but when there's this amount of numbers swarming around and there's that many in the rally on top of that it's very hard to defend uh, so um, someone starts to solo the city maybe taking some resources as well um, I'm pretty sure um, instead of the Ujuli there could have been some better uh, commanders I'm sure he has better commanders for his defense but I'm not sure he had them in so you can see a KV hashtag a player circling around trying to distract some people from the battle and also trying to get into the city but it's also very hard without taking losses so you can see them all running home there and this is um, another rally there was from One Punch Man 3 and uh, it's again successful, there weren't any unsuccessful rallies actually uh, but it would have been a whole different story if he was awake or um, if he had more troops um, so you can see the rally here, it's doing a good job and uh, the Minamoto was about to do its power up but uh, it starts burning anyway so we did plunder a lot of resources from this and it was a good battle um, This whole fight uh, but um, it didn't all end well for us anyway 
thank you for watching please do leave a like on the video and subscribe to me it would mean a lot anyway thanks for watching goodbye